Today, let's learn about loops. So what is loops in Python? Basically, loops is doing the same thing again and again based on the condition that we define. So now let's look at one example. So fruits equal to apple. So this is an array of fruits. Second one here is banana and finally cherry. Okay. So now I want to print this string one by one. Okay. So it has to loop through each one. So now to use that, this is known as for loop. Okay. So there's two types of loops in Python, for loop and while loop. Okay. For fruit in fruits. And don't forget to add the colon as well. So here we can start printing out the fruit. All right. If you notice, this comes with S. Okay. So this is an array. And right here, this is just what we define. You can just add anything as well. Let's say like X or something, right? Then printing out that one, one by one. So it will first go through this one, printing out the apple. Next is going to be banana and finally cherry. Now let's just run this application. And here, as you can see, right? We have the fruit printing out one by one. Now let me show you another one. So this time we want to print out a number instead. So let's just comment this one out. Okay, down here. So for X in range, let's say number five. Okay. And again, don't forget to add the colon and printing out X. So now let's just save and run this. So here we want to print out five numbers. So it start from number zero. Okay, so this is the index zero up until number four. So in total, there are five numbers. And we don't need to define it like one, two, three, four, five, right? You can just use the keyword range. And one more thing, if you want to print out like starting from number five to number nine, right? You can also add comma and add number 10 here. So this will print out starting from number five up until number nine. So let's try. Okay, here it is ranging from five to nine. And one more example. Now let me show you while loop, okay, instead of for loop. So in this example, let's just use um, count equal to zero. And this is the keyword while, okay. While count is less than five, okay. Colon, printing that out the count. So count plus equal one, okay. So this field, basically check. By default, we set the count equal to zero. And it is checking, okay. While count is less than five, it means that this statement is true. Then it start printing out the number. And then, okay, it will add number one to it. So from zero, it will turn into number one. And up until now, let me um, just show you the result and then we can start uh, looking at this. It's easy to understand, okay? So number zero, right? And then once it printed out, it will add number one to it. And now this become number one, okay? So one is still less than five. So it start printing that out again, okay? Up until number four, okay? So four is still less than five, that's true. So it's just printing that number out, okay? Number four. And again, it add number one to it. This time count is equal to five. So five is not less than five. And this time it skip printing out number five because the statement is not true, okay? So that's why we see starting from number zero up until number four. So yep, that's basically for loop and while loop in Python.